What's up, Scott Nation, YouTube, family, friends, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. and Twitter. What's up? We're back at it again with another video. And we're blasting it tonight because we have a how-to video. Our very first one on our new camera. Our so we got another video for you tonight. We're going to do, this is our how-to five steps on how to manage your stress during quarantine. Number one, you have to, and this is everything, right? You have to communicate, man. You have to talk to somebody. You can't do anything without talking. You can't find anything out without communicating, guys. Being in the house, stressing out, worrying about this pandemic, worrying about the crisis and the coronavirus. If you're not actually getting out, you can't get out. But actually communicating with somebody on a daily basis, it can get a lot of, kind of lonely, depressing, and sometimes sad. Just a little bit sad. So if yeah. you could, so a couple you, things. This is our number one. Facebook. FaceTime. Face to face with your neighbors through the window. Um, <laughs> right? Face to face with your neighbors through Talking the window. Talking in the cars. Yeah, probably. Meeting just up. Meeting up and parking and talking. sitting somewhere and you talk through the car, through the window. But as long as you're keeping your social distancing and you're staying six feet apart, just make sure you're communicating. And just get out and it's healthy to chat with somebody, with a friend, a buddy, cousin, mama, sister, brother, cousin too. Uncle, and grandma, granny. Anybody. Make sure they're all right. Make sure you're checking on them. Your mama's mama's mama's. <laughs> and then just making sure they're okay, right? Right. Number two. Our number two, how to manage your stress during this quarantine. Number two is be proactive. You have got to be proactive, you guys. move around. Well, proactive means a little bit more than moving around, Kayla. Proactive okay. means getting stuff done. You actually got to be able to get something done. I mean, hey, look, you got a lot of free time on your hand. You're not going to work. A couple not people going just stand school. home. You're not going to school. Yeah, you're not going to school. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not going to school. So you're not going to school. So that means you can do a lot of things, man. You can uh, clean the house. Read a Mama. book. Ooh. Sleep. I, that's all I got. That's not being proactive. <laughs> I mean, something like starting your own business, starting your oh. own YouTube channel, starting your own podcast, doing the you know the how tos, you right. know, um, learning how to cook new dishes, you know, um, going back to school, you know, right? Learn how to cook new dishes. Going back to school, even learn online. Learn how to cook new dishes. Yeah. How do you learn how to cook new dishes? YouTube. You can learn anything. From you can YouTube. cook new dishes. Yeah, you can cook. Did you? <laughs> no, I mean like like dishes. Like he think I mean like actually cooking a dish. No, like dishes. Like you know pasta, spaghetti, like lasagna. Oh, like cooking that. it. Cooking oh. new dishes. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, what? <laughs> move it on. <laughs> so yeah, man, being proactive. That's probably one of the most biggest things you need to be doing during this quarantine, man. Making sure that you're utilizing this time and this space that you have and during a crisis to be proactive to actually further yourself and your family and anybody that's connected to you and the tie to your blessing. All right, moving on. Then our number three is being physically active. Something yeah. I don't do. Just take a walk, guys. Make sure you're not touching anything without washing your hands. If you're a germaphobe, I get you. I get you. Man, I you get, get you. I get you. Okay, you get them. <laughs> okay. No, but being proactive, man, that means getting out, exercising, making sure you're not, you know, gaining extra weight while you're doing this. Everybody's talking about this quarantine 20, this quarantine 30, that I've been in the house and, like I said, cooking these extra, extra dishes and learn how to do them. But you want to get out and you want to work out, work out, work out. What? No? No, that ain't for me. Okay, but you want to get out, you want to be proactive, not only being proactive, but you want to be able to be physically active. You want to make sure you keep care of yourself, take care of yourself, take care of your physical health, make sure you're actually getting out, walking, walking your dog, walking your neighborhood, um, doing your home gym. A lot of people can't go to the gym right now because of the quarantine. A lot of people can't go to the gym because of the pandemic, but actually getting out. I saw one person on Facebook, she got some like weights. She made from dish detergent, and she was lifting dish detergent on both hands. Whatever you have to do to be physically active, make sure you do it, all right? Physically active. And then number four, number four, let's get a little real right here. Number four, one of the biggest things I've been doing since this quarantine is praying. I've been praying not only for my family, not only for my friends, everybody that's tied to me, but I've been praying for the nation, praying for the world, that whatever God has on the other side of this crisis, whatever God has on the other side of this pandemic, that it's going to be not for nothing. That everything, even though we're going through the crisis, even though we're going through the storm, there's always a blessing. There's always a, another, another outcome, and there's always a help. So... During this quarantine, during this pandemic, right, Caleb? We've been praying. Praying a lot, a man. A lot. A lot. So, man, lot. when you're doing this quarantine, you're by yourself, you're in the, in the house, 
talk to God. Go to God. Go to God on your knees and just ask him, hey, God, I, I need you. In the midst of all this, Lord, I need you more than ever now. Talk to God. Pray. Begin your prayer closet. Build your prayer journal. Prayer changes things, people. I'm telling you, it really does. Prayer changes things. So that's our number four on there. Pray. Then we're moving on to number five. Give me a drum roll, Caleb. <coughs> number five on our list, man, it is talking about getting closer with God. Make sure that during this time, during this isolation, that you're actually not only praying to God, but you're getting closer to God. You're building a better relationship with God. Actually getting to know who God is. You have to be able to, during this isolation, understand that God is bringing you through some things. God is bringing you through this season, not just for anything, but he's bringing you through just to bless you abundantly. You have to be able to get closer with God in this isolation. He's blocking out every distraction, everything that was hindering you from getting closer in on a relationship, and he wants you. He wants you to be there with him. He wants you to be intimate with him. You have to get closer to God in this in this quarantine. You have to get closer to God during this isolation and this crisis. Because without him, we're nothing. And without him, what are we? Without God, where will we be? Right? So, that is our how to survive and manage stress during this quarantine. And these are our five steps. Once again, we are Scott Nation. I am Trey L. Scott. And this is Caleb. And we're out. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. And be sure that you are turning your notifications and subscribe, subscribe to Scott Nation. All right. Peace. What's up, you guys? What are you doing? You just, they just save them up.